Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm here at the Ag Affair, here in Abbotsford. Before I go any further, there's a GoFundMe, Democracy Being Challenged in Abbotsford. I want you to donate to that. Why we started that GoFundMe, Democracy Being Challenged in Abbotsford, let me explain that to you. Because of a two-bit man called Ed Fast of the federal conservatives that wouldn't stand up to bring the law in, and on Kevin Falcon's MLA, Michael De Jong. The two men that are supposed to make sure that Abbotsford residents don't have to raise money, start a GoFundMe, or hire lawyers to fight their legal battles against what Henry Braun did. He knocked the houses off the mountain, he threatened with Abbotsford police, he loaded a municipal election, then it just unfolded. So that is why I encourage you to go to the democracy being challenged in Abbotsford and donate. So them lawyers then can show what everything took place. From Ken of the Abbotsford newspaper who blocked to conceal that I was running for mayor. He covered Ross's scams so Henry could load Ross. All the acts that took place are up on social media. To show assholes like Ken, you'll never be trusted, you'll be called out, and everybody in Abbotsford knows it was about money. But the play in our democracy rig an election, Ken, is the biggest mistake you could make. But Ken hid under this Abbotsford rag called the newspaper. He used it for manipulation to control the majority of Abbotsford residents from seeing and political politicians. Ken couldn't do that when Darren Brown, Henry's son, leaked it. So I'm at the Ag Show. A few hours ago, Bruce Bamman released the video from the Ag Show. He's here in Michael De Jong's writing. He should have said today, I have to show up and promote the Ag Show because my Phelan BC United partner, Mike DeYoung, can't do it. He's a disgust to our party, to Abbotsford residents, to everything. But Bruce comes in this riding. Bruce should be over at the Abbotsford News where the verse is hauling illegal soil out onto Chilliwack and dumping it onto that mayor. And he should be talking to the Chilliwack mayor of the crap that took place with the verse Rob Funk, Henry Brown, the partners, and Rob Isaac and the engineer, no development permit, no DP, and this is where Bruce should be. But here, he's here to bail out Michael DeYoung, the garbage man, the man that endorsed Marcus Dows for the BC Liberal nomination, that Marcus gave Dave Sidhu $10,000, the man that threw a Leo party at the height of the coronavirus to endorse Dave Sidhu for the city council, the man that did it all. It goes without saying, Bruce Bamman, that what Michael De Jong did, he has to be called out for that. It's a shame that you're willing to cover that up and not stand up for Abbotsford residents. Abbotsford residents don't want that. They want BC Conservatives to see and all the other parties to see that you will cover up stuff behind the back door and not be truthful. Therefore, I will stand forward and tell you Bruce Bamman has to be voted out along with Michael De Jong because he's not changing his ways. And today he's here doing a promo for his buddy and his falling, Michael De Jong, the man that threatened and said Henry owns Abbotsford cut a deal. The man that knew Diverse was Henry's partners, and Rob Funk and the whole thing. The man that knew Henry took his Alexis car and hit and run. But what I'm here about Bruce Bamman is to correct you in your weakness of being a politician. You should have phoned me and I would have guided you the right way. Bruce talked about children being free here. He talked about the thrashing machines. You don't need to come and see the thrashing machines. Henry, Ed, and Mike are getting a good thrashing right now, so I would avoid the thrashing machines, Bruce Bamman. And he talked about this all. What he didn't talk about is that the volunteers that put this ag show on put countless hours into this for their city and their municipality to do a good show for the ag show and the, a lim, uh, the amount of stress and stuff they go through to do this and they're not respected at all he didn't talk about 
that how the Abbotsford Fire Department volunteer hours to support their companies and do what's right for the city. And he didn't talk about the crap the garbage, the trash of Mike Sears gonna be here this weekend on his face. Look at the Abbotsford shit squad. Wanting $18,000 to police this. And the Ag Show's gotta pay that to a bunch of losers. This Ag Show has been run for hundreds of days and years. It knows how to govern police itself. It doesn't need to pay a bunch of losers to come here and police this. A bunch of free riders that want to unload their time cards. A bunch of scams and garbage, Bruce. And you should be appalled that that's happening where people volunteer their hours. That should be called out. These are the same guys when Brad Viz put a show on, didn't show up to do the police committee, the police safety meeting. This is the crap that Abbotsford had under Henry Brown and Ross Siemens. This weekend, Ross Siemens is not coming. He might show up on Saturday, or on Friday, city staff said, but they put Simon Gibbs in here. The deputy mayor's coming. And now maybe Bruce can run in the back room in the VIP tent with old Ag Minister Pamela Alexis and talk about this all. Maybe convert Pam, now's the time to jump to the BC Conservative, the BC United. The truth of the matter is, Bruce, you're weak. You failed Abbotsford residents. You weren't ready for an MLA position. That's our mistake that we encouraged you to do that. You went back to your old roots. It looked like today you were being the old mayor advertising the Ag Show. Now that's what it was, Bruce. And that's truthfully what you should have said as I am disgusted, ladies and gentlemen, here in Abbotsford, that my partner and pal at the BC United, Mike DeYoung, ain't pulling up his socks. He's in his house crying because he got caught. He's over at the Federal Conservatives, and I have to stand up and do today's show and put it on my podcast. Maybe their Abbotsford residents would have respected you, but that they didn't. Your secretaries of your office send you out and they get you hung up every day, Bruce, and they throw you to the dogs because you're not doing what's right to Abbotsford residents. What Mike DeYoung did, he crossed all the lines. What Mike DeYoung did with Henry Brown, there's no forgiveness. For you to stand and figure that nothing happened and you should hide it all, that's wrong, Bruce. That's what Abbotsford doesn't want. That's what Abbotsford's sick of, and that's what Abbotsford wants to change. And they want to get rid of assholes like you because you don't stand up what's right. You're even worse than Mike DeYoung because Mike DeYoung did the act, but you're standing here trying to justify the act. You can't cover what happened. They blocked to conceal the election with great toes. They rigged the municipal election to load Ross Siemens. They even frauded your friend Manji Soe, who was on your riding association. And today, you come here and you embarrass the whole of the agricultures. You embarrass all the people that volunteered their hard earned hours here for free. And you don't mention that these losers that raced around in our police cars, that carried threats, that sat out my house for the whole election, that frauded Abbotsford residents day in and day out, were a failing junk police force only propped up under Henry, Mike Sears, and Ed Fast in the newspaper to make them look like superstars, won 18,000 out of the Ag Fair. That is disgusting when men and women volunteer. That is disgusting. They don't even care about the immunity, their community. Oh, Donna Macy's working. What guys can I send there and get double overtime? This is disgusting. When I saw that, that's why I ran for mayor. So to you, Mr. Bruce Bamman, it's obvious Mike DeYoung's a failure because that's why you were here today. It's obvious that the BC United know about Mike DeYoung, but haven't stood up to do what's right. It should have been done on day one, rather than all this took place. Mike DeYoung was the cause of it all with Ed Fast. But there's a saying here in Abbotsford, Bruce Bamman, no one's above the law, no one can use the law, and no one can bend it. And today, it looked like you were back as Abbotsford's old mayor, and you are begging to help your BC United Mike DeYoung out. 
And today you should have been standing here with Kevin Falcon saying how disgusting you are about this MLA that can't stand up and even help Abbotsford and even promote this show. But Kennedy Abbotsford News will promote Mike next week. Oh, Mike DeYoung is the best. Mike DeYoung's this. Maybe you should announce today that Mike DeYoung's so busy over at the Federal Conservatives trying to get endorsed there with Ed Fast and Henry Brown. He's got no time to do what's right for Abbotsford. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to extend my great thanks to Abbotsford Ag Fair, to the men and women and the countless volunteers and organizers that do this, that never get recognized by these freeloaders like Bruce Bamman, Mike DeYoung, and Pamela Alexis, but I'm sure they want to be in here this weekend for a free bloody meal. And they're gonna come in here. And these disgusting men won $18,000 over them people that volunteered. These disgusting, rotten, shithole police department called Abbotsford shit. This is what they were doing with Henry Braun. Bruce Bamman, I expect the full release and an apology to the Ag Fair volunteers and to the people of what took place here and you didn't recognize them. Live. Are you going to blame that on David Eby? Live. At the Ag Fair, Abbotsford, British Columbia.